Dr. Phil has to know how bad it is to, to know how he can help me. How is anybody going to help me if they don't know what the real problem is? I've been struggling with addiction since I was eight years old. I began to see my dad again. I saw that he was drinking, smoking pot, so I started stealing his pot and experimenting with pot and alcohol. 12 years old is the first time I ever shot anything into my veins. This is where it stops tonight, but where does it stop tomorrow? My mom never really suspected anything. I was always either at some kind of practice or with a friend, quote unquote, studying. Growing up in two different environments, I used drugs to kind of escape that pain of how bad they hated each other. Over at my dad's, he would get so drunk and stoned that he couldn't deal with me. When my mom couldn't handle me in my anger, she would send me away to mental institutions. It wasn't hard for me to go straight to the heroin. That was the drug that I, that was for me. In my 20s, I was sex trafficked. I almost died from sepsis uh, twice. One time, my mom had taken me to the hospital. She had gone to get lunch, and when she came back, I was dead on the table. The doctors brought me back to life. I mean, like, uh, what mom wants to watch her child die on the table. Dr. Phil is my last hope. I either take his advice or I die. Have a seat. Well, Kelly, how are you feeling today? I'm okay. Mm -hmm. I'm a little nervous. I'm surprised, but super grateful I'm here. Tell me about your pattern of heroin use in the last couple of weeks. Um, the last couple of weeks, I've actually been in a detox facility. Um, as soon as I got out, the day I got out, I was uh, shooting heroin again. Um, so, I mean, before that, um, before the detox facility, I actually um, overdosed within twice within five days of each other. What happened? Uh, the paramedics came in and they had to uh, Narcan me twice um, because I wasn't waking up from the first dose. And where so, were you? Uh, it was it was like an abandoned tire shop that I was in. How did they find you? I have no idea. I mean, I woke up to the paramedics. I I mean, I guess the guy that I was with had called 911. That was the first time. You that was the first time. And then five OD'd. days later, I overdosed again. OK, so twice in five days, you, uh, you, you shot up enough heroin to kill you if someone hadn't intervened. Correct. And where are you getting the money to buy this with? Um, you know, that's, that's one thing that I don't know how I've managed, is I've never needed money to get the heroin that I needed. They see me coming, and they're pretty much like, well, she's going to spend money eventually, so we'll just give it to her now. When they don't give it to you, how do you buy it? How, how do you get money? I either groom dogs, I mean, on the side. Um, I'm a dog groomer, so I'm kind of like an entrepreneur. Like, uh, I always mow a lawn or do something, you know, to earn money. Uh, I've, I've pawned my... Um, guitar, I don't know how many times. Mm -hmm. I've slept with men, I've slept with women to, uh, to get heroin. So do you care if you die? Absolutely, I do. Um, I wouldn't be here if I, if I wanted to die. Dr. Well, you've been to rehab, you said, 20 times. And, Probably, at and least. It doesn't, and you, you start using immediately when you get out. Why do you go? What's the point in going to rehab? I don't know. You know, I don't have an excuse for that. I, I don't understand it. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.